of Central America that I'm going to cathedral. And uh, can we turn the music down? I'm sorry, just a little bit. Should we just play more uh, music now? I uh, use the mouse on the left screen, you can see the little volume thing. So when, um, like I was saying, whenever you go to those cathedrals and go up to these huge old wooden doors and they're usually red. And what that means and what their the symbolism that's portraying is when we come into the presence of the Lord, the only way, the only way to come into the presence of the Lord is through the blood of Christ. It's the only way we get to the Father, right? And so, on the back of both of these other doors, they're eventually going to be red. But I want this place to be a safe place in the presence of our Father, in a great and mighty God. And the only way we can, this, that's just symbolic. You know, we're going to kind of anoint this room as a place where the Lord, for the Lord to dwell and meet with us, right? And that's just symbolic. But... It's symbolic of a really powerful truth that each one of us, to come into the presence of the Lord, first we have to be washed, washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. Perfect blood. He never sinned. He was the perfect lamb, the perfect sacrifice to take our sins. And so I just, I just wanted to point that out to you guys so that every time you see that door and as you come into this room, it might just spark something. But this is a special place. And we want to come and we want to be intentional um, with meeting the Lord here. And so what we're going to do is um, we're going we're to worship through a couple of songs and then Scott and Chandler are going to lead kind of a prayer and worship time uh, after that. But I'm going to go back and turn the music on just a little bit, just real quiet. And to prepare our hearts, I want, um, I want us to just out loud, one at a time or whatever, it's going to be a little bit awkward at first, but I want this to be something that becomes not awkward when we prepare our hearts. I just want us to verbally express certain things that we are grateful to uh, or about for the Lord. Makes sense. Certain things that we are, we just want to say thank you to God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, you know, whatever. So I want you to just sit and reflect where you are, and then when those things come, I want us to, as a, as a unit, I want us to express our, our, our gratitude and things um, from our heart to the Lord. Does that make sense? Can we do that? And then after we just have a time of out loud as a family, just talking with our Father, uh, uh, we'll, do some, we'll do some worship songs on the screen. Uh, I, uh, 